This is Cody Carr, owner of Cody Carr's Hunting Adventures in Western Montana, father of three beautiful little girls, and may or may not have a slight Napoleon complex. This guy right here is Adam Johnson, houndsman, fishing guide, and Cody's chief beard grower. This is me, Dan Vastian. I'm a videographer, writer, blogger, and transient outdoorsman. And this, this is the reason we've been in the truck for 14 hours. Cody drew an Audad tag, or Barbary sheep, as the state of New Mexico calls them. As we came to find out, there's nothing easy about the poor man's sheep. not only spotting them, but physically getting to them. The cliff bands are just absolutely amazing here. You think you can traverse this country just by looking at it, and you have to walk two miles one direction to get up over the cliffs to walk back another two miles, side hill through the steepest cactus and stuff you can imagine. It's really tough to spot them, so unless you have extremely good glass and a really good spot and scope, it, it's hard to pick them out. and luckily Dan spotted a band of sheep up here that's got a couple rams and a bunch of ewes in it with his binoculars at two miles away so we're gonna go try and make a stock on them and see if we can make it happen. Done all that hunting, guys. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Go get your ram, buddy. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be going odd ad hunting. I always thought that odd ad and Gimsbach and all these different exotic type animals were uh, kind of pay to play type animals and didn't think it would be really challenging. And we got down here and for the first couple days we didn't see an odd ad and we learned real quickly that you needed long range glass and patience and a good eye to spot them because they blend into their terrain like no other animal I've ever seen. We've been challenged on this hunt just as much as I, I've been on, on bighorn sheep and doll sheep. So it's an awesome, fun hunt and it's a good time of the year to get your buddies together and put in for some permits. And there's even some general over-the-counter areas that are just a ton of fun to hunt. So give it a shot because it's a lot, lot bigger hunt than what you think it is. 